Okay, are we ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Those freckles. In that moment, it was like everyone was my mom. Kid, I guarantee I am not your mother. <laughs> also, True. can we yeah. like talk about how Josh actually looks sixteen? <laughs> Right? This like, is... it, 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 they actually did a really good job at him, and, like, she does from far away, but when you, like, look close up, like, you can tell, but, like, he actually looks a lot younger, and it's kind of terrifying. Maybe it's and because always, he's Asian. I always forget that that song is at the beginning of season one. I always forget that it's at the beginning of the pilot somehow. It, like, feels like some Mandela effect. Like, I, I subconsciously know it's there, but I always forget that it's there. I wasn't even going to let you go here, but then I saw my dad on his honeymoon in the Bahamas, and I told him I was having suicidal thoughts, so ta-da, here I am! Oh my god, that's so bad! The, the, our first, our first introduction to Rebecca, here we go. I know. <laughs> long ride from the start. I mean, like, she's 16, so I yeah. can, like, she's 28 playing 16, but she's 16, I can kind mm -hmm. of understand it, but, wow, she's a horrible fucking person. Uh-huh, like, teenagers <laughs> do terrible shit, but she is something else already. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I claimed suicidal thoughts when I was 16, I was actually suicidal, so. Yeah. Actual beings for the first time. <laughs> um, my mom and dad are here. That lady looks nothing like the mom. I never noticed that because it's such a short, like, yeah. that's a disaster. <laughs> it's such a big continuity error. Did they just, like, like, I know in Gossip Girl they recast um, Blair's mom, too. This lady doesn't even have the same accent, though. No. She doesn't even look the same age, like, once you, like, account for the years between the two. Yeah. Good God, Mother, are you trying to kill me? Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely a mom pleaser. There's so many continuity errors in the pilot. Yeah, yeah. So I think I can get away with, like, a little bit of bullshit fanfiction-wise, but, yeah. That's true. That's true. But I'm, I'm still gonna be a nitpicky bitch about it. <laughs> yeah, fair I love you. Thanks for that. I mean it. I love you. Thank you. No, I'm not dramatic. I'm not. I'm not dramatic. Oh my god, shut up, you stupid bitch! <laughs> That's what I want to say to Naomi every time she opens her mouth, to be entirely fair. Yes, that's look, true. look, look, that's the mom. She doesn't look like the mom. No, and she's like... <sighs> She's not usually that much shorter than him, is she? No, and the dad doesn't look like the dad. <laughs> uh, nobody looks like anyone. What is going on? Josh looks like Josh, and Rebecca looks like Rebecca. That's right? it. Right, but, but her mom is still her mom. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, her mom is still her mom. Jeez. Check out Josh's calves. <laughs> <laughs> the lip tremble. <laughs> He talks about like, the abortionist like she already knows her and like has it set up. Like, what? I'm guessing it's the same guy that like does all their gyno appointments and delivered Rebecca. That's fair. That's um, fair. But do you see how like plain looking she is in this shot? Right. Like, I, I looked, the first time I saw this, I was like, that's our protagonist? Really? Mm -hmm. And then right. she gets, and then she gets like super cute later on, but yep. even as plain as she is right now, she still looks better than any of her season four appearances, except maybe I'm not sad, you're sad. That's fair. Yep. Okay. True. In season four, she like you can kind of tell the actor, the actress is older than the character, you know, and and yeah. wardrobe and makeup just kind of gave up on her, and that's yep. like a consistent complaint that I have. But she's, that's, that's fair. But she just looks like a regular girl here, which is kind of refreshing, but then she gets, like, super cute later, and then she's eye candy, so, yeah. That's yeah. fun. I guess you don't care what I think. 
I certainly don't. A hundred people have died during sex. Well, in order to die during sex, you need to either have a severe pre-existing condition or have so many orgasms that your heart stops. Yeah, which happens, I guess. Like, yeah, I feel like it's one of those things that like happens all the times in like TV and movies, but like, I don't know. It seems super duper rare, though. Yeah, but the more I think about it, I feel like everyone knows someone that has, like, a terrifying, like, oh, I know someone that literally died, or, like, oh, I know someone that broke fucking every bone in their body, like Trent. Were they 80? <laughs> During <laughs> sex? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? He's so cute. <laughs> little face. And you know what? I did the math when I was trying to figure things out about Sebastian. And mm -hmm. Rebecca would have only been practicing, like, a fully licensed practicing lawyer for a year at most at this point. Oh. Yeah. Oh, because, that's a huge plot hole. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, so, so college, you start college at 18, so that's mm -hmm. night, so that's like 18 fresh, you know, 19, yeah. 20, 21, 22. You're like 22 when you graduate, like mm -hmm. when you graduate, like your undergrad. And then yeah. for law school, it's another three years. So 23, yeah. 24, 25, 26. And she's 26 right now. Yeah. At the very most, it's possible that she went into undergrad at 17. Yeah. Some people do, like weird timing wise. But like, yeah, yeah that, that, that doesn't a year or two does not seem accurate to this storyline <laughs> it does not and i was shocked because i was like trying to like i was trying to figure out shit for sebastian he graduated law school around age 27 mm -hmm. and then he's fucking 30 at the beginning of the fic and i'm just like god damn it really 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 no. i did this to myself really and i mean i went into undergrad i graduated high school when i was 17 i went into undergrad when i was 17 um so if I'd gone through law school, I would have been out when I was, like, 26, but, mm -hmm. or 25, but Rebecca is 20, like, summer camp, mm -hmm. she was, they were 16, this is 10 years later, she, she would be fresh mm -hmm. out of law school, and they're already trying to make her a junior partner, mm -mm. Yeah, no. no, 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 oh, it's possible, you know, it's possible she did, like, summer and winter semesters, too, which would have cut her down to two years, so she could uh -huh. have, she, could have graduated when she was 25. That's true. Yep. I know Sebastian sure as hell didn't because he was on drugs the whole time he was in law school. <laughs> when was the last time you were truly happy? Well, I'm guessing the copy editor the last time he was truly happy was when he was hooking up with that prostitute he left his wife for. <laughs> Oh, she has emergency anti-anxiety pills. Yeah. Yeah. How do they have that much money for their ad campaign, man? They're everywhere. <laughs> she recognizes him ten years later. Right. Like, okay. Far away. Let's be real. He's Asian. Okay. Yeah. And I'm Asian, so I can say this. Um, she sees some Asian dude on the street from that distance, and she assumes that it's Josh, and then she happens to be right. Yep. In a diverse city like New York, that, no, that's not realistic. Not, not from that far away. Nope. nope. No. Nope. Like, it, it shouldn't be Josh. It should be someone else. It should be like, at the very most plausible, someone who knows Josh. Yup. Or something like that. It should not be the same guy. Come on. No. That doesn't happen. <laughs> you know, if if it were me, I probably wouldn't go chasing after the guy. I'd be like, or, or, or I would, but I wouldn't like chase after him shouting his name because it might be the wrong guy. I've even like passed within three feet of someone that I knew on the street and not greeted them because I couldn't be sure it was them. <laughs> 
It's true. Yeah. So it could just be that she's much more extroverted than I am. Yeah. And it's so awesome back home. It's so chill, relaxed out there. Everyone is, you know, like, I don't know. It's, it's like they're. Dude, no, I want to move to to Covina. Damn. Wait, is West Co <laughs> West Covina is a different city than Covina, right? Like that sounds like such a dumb question. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Find out. I think they're one and the same, but let's find out. <laughs> this just turned into a deep dive, y'all. So here's West Covina, and then here's Covina. There we so, go. okay, they are two different cities. Oh. 22 miles east, and this one, 19 Nothing. miles east. Oh, so okay. okay. They're different cities. All right. I've been conflating them in my mind, which is kind of embarrassing because I live in California. <laughs> yeah, I mean, two miles, close enough. <laughs> but I mean, it's like, I want to move to West Covina now. Like, fuck San Jose. <laughs> I want to live in a chill surf city. Like, I'd move to Santa Cruz if it wasn't so fucking expensive. For real. Plus, the guys in Santa Cruz are hot. West Covina, California, 91791. I could have just looked up the fucking zip code. <laughs> Don't you have a girlfriend, dude? You're a fucking scumbag. <laughs> I, I hate when people do that shit when they're like, oh, like if I were single or like, I don't know, those kind of comments always skeep me out. Like they're so gross. Or like, oh, too bad you're not single. Or like, mm -hmm. oh, if I'd have known you turn out to be so hot, it's like mm -hmm. you wouldn't have dumped me for being dramatic? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's a trade-off. <laughs> The hot crazy scale. Uh huh. Oh, oh I no, wonder where she would fit on Barney's hot crazy scale. Because yes, she is should fucking make one gorgeous. For different characters. Huh? We should make one for different characters. <gasps> we fucking should. Okay, so Trent is like infinite hot and kind of crazy. Um, I don't what? think he. I don't I feel like he's at least halfway up the crazy scale, and that's being nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, halfway. But he's like, um, he's non malicious. Yeah. And non, yes. he's non malicious and mostly non violent in canon. In the fanfic, he's holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's holy yeah. shit. I don't know if even his hotness outweighs his fucking craziness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some things coming up in the, in the fic. Um, let's see. It's like, after chapter seven, I believe, he, like, is looking at Nathaniel, or maybe it's chapter eight, he's, like, looking at Nathaniel and imagining all the things he wants to do to Nathaniel and then to Nathaniel's corpse. Well, <laughs> Nathaniel, oh, dear. <laughs> um, anyway. If, 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 if you're ever out west, yeah. hit me up, okay? Okay. I should make business cards right? for me. Rebecca, you are the hardest working. You know, until she opened her mouth, I thought that was Kelly Rutherford, the lady who plays um, uh, Lily Bass in Gossip Girl. <laughs> mm, I've never seen that, and I don't think I've seen her in anything weirdly, but interesting. Yeah, so it's it's not her; it's a different actress. But yeah, mm -hmm. we have just similar. Work twenty four seven. You've never taken a sick day. She works 24-7 and she's never taken a sick day because this is her first job out of law school. Yeah. She doesn't want to be fucking fired, ma'am. No. And no. it's like, she would have been working here again for less than a year and they're already considering promoting her. How desperate are they? And, oh, also, yeah. Audra, who gets the promotion in her place, is the exact same age as her. This doesn't work! That's true. Time is a... Time is a funny thing. Um... Sometimes time time is, is an illusion and pain is an emotion. It's <laughs> time to move on to other moments. And when that time arrives, you can't really predict it. You can't explain it. You just have to 
obey the ticking clock that is destiny. And I think that this is their chance. What the what? fuck? Lord. I am so sorry. She's apologizing for turning down a promotion? Yeah. I mean, okay, whatever. You want to give her another eyeful of your cleavage, sweetie? <laughs> I do love that blazer, though. And it is hard to execute a turn like that on pavement. So, good job. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I realized that her running into Josh on the street indicates that she was not actually obsessed with Josh for the full ten years that they'd been separated. Oh, that's true. But I had kind of thought that she was at first until somebody in one of the fan groups was like, no, she just kind of saw him as like an escape from her humdrum yeah. New York life. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But she wasn't obsessed with Josh for the full 10 years. Guaranteed Trent was obsessed with her for the full fucking eight years. He probably, like, I, I have it in notes for the fanfic that like he and Sebastian tortured and murdered realtors um, trying to get information about where she lived until they realized we can just pull her voting information I learned a lot from watching you <laughs> wait is Applebee's only in California I'm pretty sure it's everywhere Hold on. I know he's in Minnesota for sure, but I think it's everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, fucking fact check everything. Uh-huh. Yeah! There's one in fucking Times Square! Yup. There's, like, two or three Applebee's in New York. She yep. should know this! Mm -hmm. Hello, ma'am! Oh, that time it's not him. That's what should've happened in New York. They have big pretzels in other states. How about now? That sounds great. You need a head condom for the wig. I don't think the stripper cares as long as you pay her. Like whatever, honey. Vent about what you want. I do not give a shit. She, yeah. At at the end of her shift, she doesn't. She doesn't remember you. She doesn't know. She doesn't care. She takes her tips. Mm -hmm. Washes the glitter off her body and leaves. Yup. I wish I was athletic enough to be a stripper. I wanted to be one when I was younger, but I didn't keep up with my training. That is an adorable fucking dress. Well, he's clearly not riding the same pretzel as you. I mean, I've totally staked out places where I thought a crush would be. God damn it! Do not do that. Right? What? Like, why didn't she just hide them somewhere? Like, where it would be a pain in the ass to get them? Like, just hide them from yourself, mate. Yeah. Jeez. Don't fucking ever flush your meds. Like, right? even the meds that I don't take anymore, I'm not gonna flush them. Right. Oh, speaking of which, I missed the intake with my new psychiatrist, and they didn't refill my Lamotrigine because I missed the appointment, so <laughs> I gotta schedule a new appointment for my mood stabilizers, which I was off for two weeks anyway because I was sick. Oof. Great choices, but at least I didn't fucking flush them. I just yeah. checked the Facebook. The Facebook. I hope this isn't another stunt like your mini suicide attempt in law school. You didn't even break your skin, and you inconvenienced a lot of people. Jesus Christ, with a mother like you, no wonder she's suicidal. Nope. No, 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 you dumb bitch. Garbage disposal. She is a garbage disposal. Her her apartment looks so blank. Bees! Um, if I got a text message like that, I'd, I'd be a little weirded out. Yeah. I wouldn't respond either. I'd be like... Or, or I might respond, because I, I don't like leaving things on red, but it would be like, uh, cool, cool, so what hotel are you staying at? <laughs> and then, oh no, I moved here, I'm living in a townhouse, and I'd be like, oh, this is one fucking hell of a coincidence. 
Let's get these. Let's get these restraining order papers printed. <laughs> no, dude, restraining orders are expensive. Fuck, are they? Well, I don't know, but they'd be out of Josh's budget because Josh is. Was he employed at this point? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't think so. So it would be out of his budget to get a restraining order. That's fair. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like his friends are so weirdly supportive that they just like instantly like pitch in for it and be like, yeah, let's keep this weird bitch away from Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, like Josh, maybe. Greg is instantly smitten with her. Hector and um, White Josh, who are actually really chill. Mm -hmm. So Greg, the one who would be like the most judgment. Oh, you know who would? Valencia. It might yeah. be it might be out of her budget, but she'd still do it because she's so fucking devoted to Josh. Valencia is yeah. such a sweetheart. She deserves so much better. I know. And the way that he was talking, like he was talking like a single man to her. You yeah. and then like she comes to to West Covina and finds out that his girlfriend is fucking awesome and hot, super yeah, mega I foxy, mean... awesome hot, and then he... yeah, I Ugh, Josh is trash. That's not yeah. just the Trent role player in me speaking. <laughs> no. Oh, I fucking love Daryl. I know he needs to be protected. Well, I'm what they call a full one eight. It is cringe that he identifies as, as Chippewa because he's like 1-8. Like, you know, white guys who do that are kind of, yeah. Is there a problem with cell phone service in West Covina? Because I feel like my friend is trying to get a hold of me. Why would you say this at a job interview? Right? Why? Like... You, you, should, you should talk to your cell phone provider about that. Mm -hmm. I have Sprint, and it's the bomb. I'm sorry, I have a kid, so... Oh, I have Metro, oh, and it's yeah, probably cheaper. So, She's so oh, cute with her little highlights you know, and her little flippy hair and that little dress oh, yeah. and that Ooh. blazer. She's so adorable. They know. something? Gosh, have you heard of that one? It's not DiGiorno, is it? Called Jimmy's House of Spirits. It's like a liquor store and a wine bar. Also, in the restaurant... A liquor store with a wine bar. That sounds fucking amazing. Oh, you know what? Until my business cards come in, I'm going to take a few of these in case anyone asks what I'm doing in town. And I can show them this and be like, I have a job. It's legitimate. That sounds super fucking sketch, okay. just so you know, sweet uh -huh. pea. <laughs> You're right. Yale special field? Mandarin? Why doesn't she ever speak Mandarin in the show, or why isn't she ever shown in enjoying sea dramas or anything? That feels like a missed opportunity. Like, we see mm -hmm. in the very first song of the show that she's fluent in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Later, we see that she's fluent in French, but she never speaks Chinese. Nope. And I feel like that is a huge fucking... Like, why is that under special skills and not the languages that she's actually shown speaking? Yeah, that's a good point. Like, hundred percent. This is this is also why I have her um, nerding out over sea dramas with Trent in college. Lindsay Lohan wears those. She's been to jail six times and has fake hair. Do you know that? Awesome! Know that Thanks for sharing. Yeah, no friends in town, no relatives. Uh, or... No, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty simple. <laughs> Yes, well, welcome aboard. Well, thank you. Okay, I believe you. No, senior year graduation excited. Senior year graduation, honey. Honey, um, she doesn't look 17. No. I know they tried to pass her off for 16 in, in the beginning of this episode. But she doesn't look like a high school senior. No. Who is this person? None of your goddamn business. I mean, okay. I mean, you're her, you're your coworker, but still. Wow. I'm I'm Jewish. Really? Yeah, but it's okay. Uh, I I honestly had no idea. That is a tiny note. It's like a button. Cringe. Look. Yup. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm in kind of a mind here. <laughs> okay, so they're both super unprofessional. This is gonna be great. Yeah. Everyone in this office is pretty much. I want an office like that, honestly. I want a boss like Daryl. I fucking love Daryl. If I had a if if I had a boss like Daryl, 
I'd invite him over for dinner every fucking Friday. It's not healthy to keep fixating on one person. The relationship wait, wait, wait. It's not healthy to fixate on one person. Run that by me again, Ms. Bunch. Uh-huh. I want you to represent me in my case. She's not a divorce attorney. I, okay, I understand that interdisciplinary lawyers exist. Mm-hmm. But she's a property lawyer. But yep. you're her, you're hiring her to be a property lawyer. Why would you expect her to have any expertise in divorce law? Nope. What the fuck? <laughs> and kind of equally when the, logic. Kind of equally when Nathaniel wants to represent her um as her criminal defense lawyer. It's like mm. no. No. Nope. Oh. No, and then in the beginning happening. and then in the beginning of one west covino when she's like she and she's like oh maybe i can represent trent and i'm just like no he probably already has a lawyer <laughs> it took me like another chapter to realize that you know my specialty is real estate law. I wouldn't oh good she brought that up she yeah she, she already seems like a flake but i guess that he's too preoccupied to notice Slide on into home base. I love that. Is there like a paperless post that I should reply to? Is it, is it maybe is it maybe slang for like a flyer or something? Like some dumb New York slang or something? I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, we just have like a great day. No, I so feel it. This is some. This is horrifying. Like a scary movie or something. Like some. Nasty ass patriarchal bullshit. You know what? I gotta go apologize to some bitches. He's one of my favorite, like, one scene inside characters. <laughs> it's such a good dress. Josh has a girlfriend? Just because Facebook says he's single. Okay, I'm getting the Josh vibe that's, again. Maybe we should just go back to the. Mad no, no, sketchy, that's sketchy, though. Like, on the, the real, like. I, I, I kind of have beef with that. Like, I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh, not everyone likes to put, like, their personal business on social media and shit, but I find it, like, mad sketchy when someone's super against it or when they're, like, all for it and then, like, suddenly take their relationship status off their profile. It's It weirds me out, man. <laughs> Once they delete it out of nowhere, like, that's, that's, that's sketchy to you, man. It's like the notebook. It always blends in with all those other Nicholas Sparks movies. I think there's like four I've seen and they just kind of all blend together like A Walk to Remember, Dear John, and whatever the other one is that I can't remember. All I know is that like there's a character who's like, sort of a football player or like on the high school football team or some shit and she's not a cheerleader but she's like, I don't know, I can't remember, maybe she's band i don't know she's she's some like weird sideline person and like cheers him on and shit and there's some reason that's like a stupid shallow reason excuse why they can't be together and it's kind of a dumb movie <laughs> he's like friends with josh like trent's one other thing because like they aren't even like friends with each other in the guy group but like greg and josh like no no each other it's kind of dirty <laughs> Her weird side smile when she saw her from far away. I did not move here because of Josh because that would be crazy and I am not crazy. I actually believed that at first. You know, now that I think about it, I think for Paula it's legit. You remind me of like me or who I wanted to be when I was younger and like I miss being younger and having an interesting life so I'm gonna interject myself literally entire into every part of your life like just to live vicariously through your tea okay you you are not in this alone and i will i will help you let me help you because we can win this we can win it paula honey you need to chill that's really not that bad compared to most dudes